Welcome, welcome, welcome to Fantasy Booking AEW. As the buckle turns. Sure, Adam. I'm Tim. I'm Adam. Wait a second. We're fantasy booking? Yeah. Does that mean that I don't have to be Adam for a change? Wait, what, who do you want to be? Can I be Jake? You mean from State Farm? Yeah. No. Oh. We can't afford a lawsuit. Okay, fair enough. But fair anyway, enough. multiverse though, bro. Technically, but technically we're actually Tony Khan. Wait. Okay, hold on a second. I got I got some things I need to, to um, figure uh, out uh, here. What do you do? Uh, um, Adam, I'm Adam, just hold up right there and move um, that there. You're put we're into not into the card. Adam, okay. Adam, look yeah. at me. Look at me. Yeah, what's up? Um, we're playing Tony Khan. We don't actually have his money. We're not billing actual billionaires. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I'll remove the yacht from my Amazon account. Okay? Really? Really? Uh, a yacht? You were going to go for facial reconstruction surgery? Funny. Funny. I thought so. <laughs> yeah, you're not saving this one either. Oh, you. But you, yes, okay. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fantasy Booking. We are going to be at Fantasy Booking AEW. That's right. We're in charge of AEW, and we're booking from now on. Yes, uh, we're going to fix the problems with a. Wait. That's how we're going to create hey, all oh, new problems problem. for AEW. No, no, no. We're going to create problems for AEW so we can then fix them with our fantasy booking. So a couple weeks ago, we did our, our, our draft. Yes. If you haven't listened to that, that will be in the cards. If I remember to do so when I upload this. Yes. The draft, uh, that fantasy draft is already up. No, I'm talking about actually putting it in the cards in oh, a link okay. down below. Oh, okay. I actually got to remember to do that. Yeah, and yeah. We're talking about Tim on a Saturday. That's true. That's or true. Or Friday. So uh, we have that, those, uh, those people that we drafted, yep. they will be added on to the current AEW roster. Yep. And all of Ring of Honor. Yes. Because we just bought Ring of Honor because in this universe, after Ring we of Honor... We have the money. Not just that. Also, since Ring of Honor released everyone, we just said... Pure we, charity. We're we, just going to pull the ball We picked everyone in. up. We only take a few people from Ring of Honor, but since they're, in reality, released everyone, we just picked them up. And in story, we bought them, and they are our developmental. They're, they're, yeah. Uh, Ring of Honor will continue on... But it will be replacing, uh, it'll be a YouTube channel yeah, for a while. But we're not booking that one. Nope. Um, if this gets big enough where we actually can make money off of Adam's Heck channel, yes, we then will we'll do, do all of that. Oh, and yes. Also, no, we're only um, fantasy booking Dynamite right now. Yes. In the future. Um, and pay-per-views. And pay-per-views. Um, but in the future, we will hopefully go add Rampage on. Yes. Um, It'll be nice. That'll be great. So, but we we gotta get this one up and running for a little while before we move on to Rampage and do two shows. Yep, um, definitely for that. But so, with that being said, we are going to start our fantasy booking journey with full gear. Now, if you've watched the other fantasy booking, I did AEW. That's gone. It's out the window. It's not the same continuity. No. Mostly because no, that I, show was canceled. Yeah, Adam canceled the show. He liked to blame it on me because I didn't do content. It's full of lies. Anyway, no, 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 it was, no, I canceled it. It was it was fake news. Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, also I, I kind he kind of had to cancel it since I you know I lost all my plans and everything. I yeah, that's so, kind of why I had to cancel it. Yeah. Um. So we're starting over from scratch. It's his full gear 2021. Yep. New storylines. Some familiar storylines you may see. Um, you may see parallels to things that are actually happening. Um, but we're going to be going from this on going forward. Yep. So with that being said, Adam, we're going to go in with the buy-in. We're because, straight to the buy-in. Because we care about our buy-in. We love our buy-in. Also, we wanted to get more people on the card so you know we could actually get introduced more characters. Yeah, it's, um, yeah exactly. So, so we're kicking this off with... The first matchup with Cody Rhodes. Yes, Cody is on the buy-in, Adam. He's opening the buy-in. Yes. He's the curtain puller for the curtain puller. (laughs) Yes, he is. And he is facing against Flip Gordon. Book Flip. Flip. That was the thing. And Cody said no. But then TK, us, said yes. We said yes. And Cody didn't like that. So he wanted to put um, Flip in his place. So we're opening up that matchup, and in a surprise, 
victory, Flip reverses the crossroads into a schoolboy pin the to m- beat Cody Rhodes. That's right. He used the most devastating move in all of pro wrestling to defeat the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Uh, the schoolboy is not the most. The no? roll-up is. This oh, okay. is the second most. Uh, okay. I mean, it's, gonna, it's close. It's close, but it's... I'm sorry. I got... I was... I was it's, in the moment. Yeah, it's the same. Th- it's close enough, but still unforgivable. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> yeah, Look at you too. I don't understand the sign language, Adam. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Cody Rhodes loses in our first matchup in the bye. Can you tell that we're a little biased against Cody at the moment? I mean, I'm not saying he's bad, but <laughs> yeah, Cody. It's Flip. It's Flip, it's Gordon. Flip Gordon. Yeah, yeah you are the. <sighs> You left Ring of Honor before you could actually do a, a blow-off match for your yeah. feud. <laughs> uh, also, Cody, you are... I love you when you're at your most... Heelish? Egotistical. Yeah. And you being the American Nightmare as the most egotistical... Think you're the you're the good guy, mm-hmm. but you're not. Mm-hmm. I that's, that's when you're at your perfect. Yeah. When, when you can both smile at the... At the the camera that you're the good guy while also just being an asshole it, it works out perfectly let's move on to the second match oh uh, one little thing to what, add about what, cody yeah. though i would take a cody who's um uh a heel who's acting like a baby face because he's pleased as a baby face but then does heal his shings oh yeah randomly um and says, I didn't do that. I don't know what you're talking about. And denies because he can't remember actually doing it. I would buy that. Okay. And then we reveal he's just like, no, I've just been fucking with you guys. <laughs> what? Like, yeah. like he, he kicks kicks and gives a, and gives somebody a low blow. The ref catches him and he looks at him like, why? Well, I, I don't know what you're talking doing. about. <laughs> I didn't do that. And then he does a you people promo. Yeah. Where he's like, his you people's like, oh, but he does a you people because you people are dumb. You're stupid. Wrestling fans, everyone knows wrestling fans are dumb. That's why it took so long until TK came along to get convinced advertisers there's money here. Because you're all dumb. You dumb. You dumb. All right, so the next matchup in the buy-in is Dakota Eve. Not Dakota Kai. Not Dakota Kai. Same person, but just a different name. Dakota Eve. Dakota Eve. taking, Taking on Stardom's ace, Mayu Watanatani. And in a great back and forth action is Mayu, who takes the victory with a dragon suplex pin. Nice. In the middle. Just showing her dominance here. There Dakota we go. Eve is good, but tonight, Mayu Wanatani was better. Good. Yeah. So there you go. We got that one there. So our third match in the buy in. That's right. We're still in the buy in, ladies and gentlemen. We have three matches in the buy in. So this one... It's kind of like the first two are re- relatively rapid fire. Yep. This one... <laughs> she's going to go longer. down. She's going to go down on this one. So we have Adam Cole. Yes, Adam Cole is the closing of the buy-in against Jungle Boy. Adam Cole is brought to the ring by the Young Bucks. Yes, they're out there with him. But Jungle Boy is on his own. He doesn't think he needs to worry about the Young Bucks. So they're out there. So our fin- the finish of the matchup happens when the young bucks are doing their shit distracting jungle boy and well guess who runs down adam who runs down uh jurassic express christian cage and luchasaurus come down and start to beat the crap out of the young bucks this is almost distracts adam cole who starts yelling at the ref for wait why are you trying to stop them from beating my friends He's like, well, that's not part of the match. Yeah, and then Jungle Boy decides to take advantage of this, bounces off the roll, but wait, someone has jumped the ring barricade with a hoodie on. Oh, they have an El Generico mask They on. have a what mask? Yeah, they've pulled Jungle Boy out of the ring. Pop-up powerbomb is rolling him in. Adam Cole looks back, but the guy... Is going over the turn back over to the fans and he escapes into the fans. Yep, and then who is this mystery man? Who knows? But Adam Cole says, "Well, he's there." Hits the boom for the win. Adam Cole beats Jungle Boy with some help. I, yeah, but who is this mystery person? I don't know. I guess we'll find out, or hopefully. I mean, okay. Um, but Adam Cole 
Is your and Victor why, hair? Why do they have a problem with Jungle Boy? Me? Why does he have an El Generico? Was that El Gen- No, he was no. a little heavy set. He was, he was chubby. El Generico could have gotten a little chubby. You don't know. He's been retired for a very long time. He has been. He certainly has been. We have not seen him for a long time in Ring of Honor. Yeah, so he could have gotten put a little weight on. We don't know. Uh, anyway, so Jungle Boy has a little tongue, takes the loss here. Adam Cole um, helps up the Young Bucks to go to the back because they were beaten up. While Christian Cage and Mr. Source attend to Jungle Boy. Yeah. Unfortunately, maybe next time Jungle Boy will get the, the pinfall over Adam Cole, the victory over here. And that's how we end the buy in. We fade to black. Yep. Uh, we completely had to BS our closing angle for the buy in because we realized our plans changed for yeah. things. Don't so. worry. Don't worry. But, all right. So, Adam, we're on to the main show now. That's right. That's right. Adam, you know what the main sh- the op- the curtain puller for the main card is? Do you know what the curtain puller is, Adam? I do. I do. What is that? It is the finals for the TBS championship yes. between Tay Conti and Jamie Hayter. Yes. Uh, we weren't expecting that right now, were you? You weren't expecting that to kick off the main show, you did were. you? Because it's not on the main, the actual full gear card. I get it. Yeah. We know. We know. Don't mm-hmm. worry. Things are going to get weird. weird. Wait. Why do you... Ha- is that why you don't have pants on? Maybe. Oh, God. Just please tell me you're going to keep the boxers on. Yes. And there they go. Great. Really, Adam? No, no. That was my that was my top pair. Oh. Oh, you're a two-pair guy. I'm a two-pair guy. Okay. That's good. Keep Told the, you. Keep, Guys are getting weird. Keep the, uh, the pair on. Yeah. Anyway, no, no. I'm keeping these. Anyway. Here. It's cold t- in here. <laughs> the TBS Championship Finals. So, in the the finish, Jamie goes for the curb stomp against Tay. Moves out the last second and hits a DDT and both just lay on the mat. Tay gets up and Rebel, not Reba, Rebel, Rebel, gets up and tosses Jamie a bag that clearly has something in it. She gets up, she grabs it uh, up on the apron to distract the ref and... Jamie grabs it and hits Tay with the bag and hits covers. Her bag. But Rebel is still on the apron, Adam. Yeah, she's not getting down. Uh, so the I, ref will count the pinfall here. The ref is still arguing with her in the corner. Jamie gets up and yells at Rebel to get down, and she does. She turns around and Kay kicks her, uh, covers Tay, and Tay kicks out at two. Jamie's pissed and once again goes for the curve stop. Tay again moves out of the way. Um, rolls her up for a two count, but Rebel's back there on the apron. Distracting Tay, Jamie gets back up, but Tay moves, hits Rebel, and when um, Jamie turns back around, Tay connects with the Tay KO for the win in your first TBS champion. Tay, Tay Conti. And at the end of this, out comes Anna J, who was not at ringside. Nope. Because she was beaten down backstage by Jamie and Rebel. Yes, that was just a, a random thing that happened backstage that we didn't even we didn't realize until just now. It it uh, it totally happened on the buy-in. Yeah, that yeah. We, we were told after the card started. So yeah, totally. Um, commentary mentioned it not be somewhere during this matchup. We yeah, just, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, but Anna comes down. She hugs. Anna, she cut, uh, hugs Tay, and they celebrate together as Tay holds up that beautiful TBS championship. I mean, that TNT... No, I it's had a TBS correct. championship. I, I had it correct the first time. I mean, they just look so much, I mean, so different. They're totally different. <laughs> one has <laughs> TBS on it. The other one has TNT on it. And <laughs> we covered this. <laughs> anyway, Jeez. there we go. So you have our first TBS champion. It is Tay Conti. I'm just trying to get to the next matchup. Okay. So, we had the TBS championship. Now it's time for the TNT championship. Look, sometimes I, when you when you book a full card, things get filled up real quickly and you don't know where to put things. And sometimes you have to do a TBS championship directly, <laughs> directly in front of the TNT, TNT championship. championship. Exactly. Don't worry about it. It happens. Anyway, in this matchup, we have the champion, Sammy Guevara, the Defending against Ricky Starks. Yes. 
And in the the close of the matchup, oh, it's simple. Semi goes up, hits on the 630 splash for the win, and is still your championship champion. Congratulations, Congratulations. Sammy Guevara. Yeah, this matchup. Well, yes, yeah, just be honest. We had to. We wanted to give Sammy a win here. It was just no way of putting, dropping the belt this soon after he he won it. That's right. Yeah, it, it's there. It goes. But and Ricky, he has a bright future. I think. Exactly. Uh, and, oh, by the way, we forgot to mention. Um, the fuck the world championship is no longer e- around. Yeah, we mm-hmm. we've dropped that belt. Yeah, that we, is gone. Um, I do believe um, Brian Cage threw that into a river, and it no one went in after it. Everyone looked at it and went, "Oh, that's so sad." Even Taz <laughs> looked at it and went, "It's deserving." Yeah, that, that's probably where it fits best. All right, you guys have a good one. Let's go. All right. So the next matchup on the card is a thirty-minute Iron Woman matchup. What? We have Serena Deebs facing off against Hukara Shida. They had some brutal matchups um, on Dynamite. Deebs stopped Hikara from getting her 50th win. Then yep. in the TBS Championship, Hikara um, beat her to advance. But as we can just know, she did not go much further. No, she did not. So they're having their blow off here with who is better in 30 minutes. 30 straight minutes. So we're going to pick up right at the end of of the matchup with two minutes left it is tied one to one adam wow both are uh exchanging some um severe pinfalls several pinfalls attempts but no one's getting the upper hand uh one minute serena deeps works over Sheeta's knee locks in the boston crab crab and is she is forced to tap out so it's now one to Sheeta. Two to Deebs. Okay. There's 45 seconds, and Deebs is on defense. She is fighting back, trying to get as many pinfalls as she can, but she can't. With 10 seconds left, she to counter Deebs' spine buster and connects with a running knee and pins for the second before the bell rings. We are in overtime, tied 2-2. Two to two. Overtime? Who would have predicted that happening? Not everyone who's ever watched an Iron Man match. Not at all. The two scramble with Deeves uh, attacking Sheeta's knee. It goes for a suplex, but Sheeta fights back using um, Deeves' momentum and hits Deeves with a falcon arrow for the victory. Hukara Sheeta wins. Three to two. Yes. There you go. So Hukara Sheeta has Beaten Sheeta, beaten Deebs. <laughs> it is official. Deebs is not as good as Hakura Sheeta, at least not on this night. No. But it was a good one. Tech Maybe their Deebs. war will continue. I'm sure somewhere down the lines. But well, I wonder what could be next for Hakura Sheeta. You know Deebs is going to want to avenge this loss. Exactly. All right, so we're going to move on to the next matchup. Um, Adam, what is the next matchup? Do you know? Do the, you know? Yes, I do. The Bastard Pock. In a one-on-one match with Malachi Black. Yep. Now here it goes. Um, Pac goes up for the Black Arrow, but Malachi gets his knees up. Pac gets back up and walks right into the Black Mass for the win for Malachi Black. Congratulations. Will you? Does will he? Is there anything else happening after this match? Uh, <laughs> no. No. Okay. No. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's a. Uh, it was a big back and forth matchup, but yeah. In the end. In the end, everyone falls to the black mass. Damn right. So, <laughs> our next matchup is going to surprise many people. Absolutely a surprising match. It's a grudge match between Bailey Rose Bailey versus Sasha Mercedes. Sasha, Sasha Banks. Um, these two debuted the same night. Only for Bailey to turn on her friend. They debuted together. They absolutely debuted they came together. They out. They hugged. They were saying, we're in the best women's division. And then Bailey's completely destroyed Sasha, saying, you knew I was going to come here, but you signed your contract first um, to try to one-up me. And Really, got- it's the most petty, uh, yeah. petty of uh, arguments yeah. that set this entire thing off. Yeah, and Bailey just wants to prove once and for all when they can actually allow to go and wrestle, she's better than Sasha. Exactly. We're going to find out. Okay. In the middle of the match, Bailey hits the role model buster. 
onto steel steps, rolls Sasha into the ring, looks and locks in Mercedes, the Mercedes statement, and she is forced, to, the ref is forced to call for the bell when Sasha passes out in her own finish. What? Bailey Rose beat Sasha by KO. With her own move. Yes. I'm That's pretty awesome. Sh- I'm pretty sure Sasha was already out from the, you know, the Rose Buster, on, the role model Buster on the steel steps. I mean, probably. But. Uh, on, on paper, though, yeah, it's yeah, going yeah, to show that she was knocked out no, by, by her own, own submission, submission move. Yep. There you go. So. What what a way for Bailey to stamp something right there. Yeah. To sta- make a statement. Yeah. Oh, oh, she's not done. She what? was celebrating. She's attacking Sasha. She has a steel chair. She's put it around Sasha's neck. Oh, oh my God. She's stomped on it. And she's. Uh, Sasha's cut holding her neck. The ref has pulled Bailey out. She's heading to the back, but oh, the ref is calling for EMTs. Oh, no. I, I think. Did I see the X go up? Yeah, I think you did. I, I, I think Bailey was trying to end Sasha's career before she could ever get started. What the hell? What a bitch. Having to try to end someone's career with their uh, only match it's being a someone loss. Who, someone you considered a best That's, friend. Yeah. Wow. I, guess, I thought. Uh, wow. No. No. I can't believe she did that. I mean, Bailey, I guess she, she's not that lovable. F- um. Big sister anymore? No, okay. she is not. Uh, so uh, we'll give you some uh, injury updates on Sasha on Dynamite um, if we don't get them by the end of this broadcast, All which right. you won't. <laughs> oh, Adam, can you add on to the the card for Dynamite Sasha update? <laughs> uh, yes, I certainly will. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, sir. So the next matchup is the finals for the World Eliminator Tournament. This is Brian Danielson versus G- Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy. Yes, Orange Cassidy beat a John Moxley in the semifinals. John, get better. Yeah. Yep. Just so you know, we're Can't not. Can't wait for you to come back. Yep. In this, John Moxley is not in rehab. It's not an issue. Just so people know. Yeah. We will be using him just so you know going forward. Yeah. But anyway, but Orange Cassidy beat or um John to move on. So this is the finals. We got probably the best actual wrestler, mat wrestler in the world, Daniel, Brian Danielson, versus the most dangerous man of Orange Cassidy. Absolutely dangerous man. Uh, I, I'm a little worried for Brian Danielson's concussion issues. I, I certainly. Yeah. I am. Uh, that is a major, major concern going into this match. So into the the, the finish of the match, Brian ducks the o- devastating orange punch. Locks him into the cattle manipulation. What? And Orange Cassidy seems he's he's passed out. Brian wins. The the ref did the arm check, yep. right? Yep. yep. Um, yeah, he did. All right. So the ref is raising Brian's hand after he's released. Ca- uh, oh, there's a close up. Wait, uh, is is that what I I think it is? Yeah. Um, Did he just roll onto his side and put his hands under his head? Yeah, and before that, yeah, you heard what you heard. He was snoring. Orange I, Cassidy fell asleep? Yeah, I, I think he. I don't actually think he passed out. I think he just went to bed. I, I, was he, wait, did he get so bored with his matchup that he just pa- just went to bed? Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, well, it, uh, Brian won. He is the winner. He will get a future world championship matchup. Uh, some don't load down the line when we decide when that is. You know, fancy booking and everything. Okay. So. Wow. Damn it, that is. Orange Cassidy. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Orange Cassidy's a little bit of a douchebag when he wakes up. The ref woke him up and he's just, he, he kicked him. That poor, poor ref. Poor Rick. Quick, quick. Someone get the medics out there. <laughs> yeah. Make sure his leg is still in one piece. <laughs> yes, please. Um. This will give us a little break while the um, people set up the um, ringside for our next matchup. If you thought Bailey versus Sasha being on this was a surprise, this next matchup is really going to blow your mind. Oh, absolutely. This is a multi-man ladder ma- tag team ladder match. But not just multi-teams. 
multi-championships. That's right. We have the AEW World Tag Team Championships. Adam? We the Lucha Bros. Versus uh, versus the Impact <laughs> World Tag Team Champions, the Good Brothers. Versus the AAA Tag Team Champions, FTR. Versus the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, the Briscoes. And yes, all four championships are on the line. Now, um, Adam misspoke. It's the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships, which will be unified with the AEW World Tag Team Championships. Yes. And then the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships will be announced for the um, our, for uh, developmental, yes, because there won't be there will not be world championships in our developmental. They're just a company name. They're just company name. Yeah, it's okay because they're developmental, and that's what you do to your developmental. That in buried to the ground with stupid rebrands. And, <laughs> and I mean, we're gonna try to go for four or five in a year. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. You think that's color for splash for NXT 2.0? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we're gonna get crazier than that. This is gonna be like a unicorn threw up. Then took a shit, and then ate it, and then the animal that ate the unicorn threw up on it. Okay, so much Dude, color. That is, so, in other words, the way to put it. That is a, that is very graphic. So, uh, my, is that, very graphic. Very graphic. But the way to point it is, it's just so much color. So let's get into this tag team match. Yes. So the finish goes with Jay and Phoenix are climbing two different ladders. To reach the buckle that holds all four belts. There's one belt from each championship. Now, yes. 18 different belts There's up there. There's not eight belts up there. There's no. only four. It's only four. Because all- it's winner take all. Yes. And reaching for it. They exchange some blows when Jay, of the Briscoes, uses the belts to knock Phoenix off the ladder. He goes for the buckle, but the FTR slide back in and they... Uh, into the ring, and they push the ladder, knocking it over and sending him out into a tower of tables. Yes, a tower of tables. Oh my! <laughs> I just wanted to say that for some reason. I mean, it's 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 always out there. Yeah. There's also, a, there's a tower. I was kind of hoping Adam would do the whole tower of tables, like we nope. do with the na- the the. The Wheel of Names. The Wheel of Names. You'll hear that that one constantly throughout our fantasy book. Of I'm course. Sure. Dash and Cash set up the ladders and get ready to climb when Carl Anderson climbs in with a chair and levels Dax. Gallows uh, hits a, his huge big boot onto Cash and they take the ladders and then to each other. Carl throws down the, his chair, climbs at the buckle. And guys, the buckles for all her champions. They are still the Impact World Champions, but they win the AEW Ring of Honor and Triple A Champion Tag Team Championships. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Good Brothers are your, well, we'll just say Tag Team Champions of the just, world. Like, yeah, literally the world. Yeah, in a sense, every one of them. They've just they have all the belts now. The only ones they don't have apparently are New Japan. Yes, which is kind of just like that would have been fu- that would have been fun. But anyway, uh, New Japan. Oh, we forgot the most important thing to mention to people. What? Yes, the the Forbidden Door is open. Oh for, yes, just so people know if this wasn't clear by having AAA tag titles here, right? In Impact. Oh, but just no, want no, to make no. sure. Champions will be will be coming around all the time on yes. AEW. Yes. But yes, the Good Brothers are the champions. They've got every belt. Yep. All right. It's now time for the co-main event. Well, the like, triple co-whatever main event. Yeah, because honestly, that, that tag team match was a main event right, match. Right, yeah. And so is this. And so is the last and so one. So is the next one. The show closer main event. Of course that is. But anyway, the next one of the, the triple main event is for the AEW World Women's Championship in a triple threat matchup. Triple threat. It is the challenger of Riho, the first AEW cha- World Women's Champion, versus Becky Knox. Brand new to the company, fresh off from getting drafted. The man herself with her husband, Mr. Becky Lynch. Mr. Some, Becky Lynch. Somewhere somewhere 
backstage, I'm sure, because he got drafted himself as well. I mean, uh, Mr. Becky Knox. <laughs> yeah. Mr. yeah. Becky, yeah Mr. Not Mr. Becky, Knox. Becky Lynch. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Becky Knox. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, I did not say Lynch. No. No, no there's did no I did, proof. Did not repeat that, that either. Uh, no. Anyway, those two are challenging the current champion, Dr. Britt Baker, D.M.D. <laughs> I love it and I hate it at the exact same time. <laughs> She's a dentist and everyone hates the dentist. Oh, just the 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 smarminess that <laughs> yeah. she can that she exudes. I love uh, it and hate it because it yeah. it it's a wonderful heel act and I'm like I love that. But god do I hate people who act like that. Yes. So screw you. But also um props to Britt Baker acknowledging this that if it wasn't for Tony Cervante, the Britt Baker we have would not exist. Nope. Working with her when she got injured is what helped her discover her character. She always was going to be healed, but like oh, yeah. really to dive into the character she became just helped because of Tony. She's and like, she gives oh, all I can the be the most pretentious ass ever? Even though she, Tony's not allowed to hang out with her backstage because no. Mr. Do- Mr. Britt Baker, Adam Cole, is back there now. But yeah. She still likes to thank Tony for the time well, that they course. did here as being friends and everything. Of course, of course. All right, so the finish here is Britt Baker has the lock jaw locked on Becky Knox. It looks like Becky is going to give up when out of nowhere, Rio comes in and hits Britt Baker with the double knees, breaking up the submission and then covering Britt Baker for the pin. New and first ever two-time women's champion, Riho. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We put the belt on Riho, yeah. and we did it in the most destructive <laughs> way possible. possible. Yes. <laughs> like, that yeah. is a sliding double knee into with, the lockjaw. With the potential of dislocating both of Becky's shoulders. <laughs> oh, absolutely. If that went wrong in any way, I'm so glad that we're able to do it here in Fantasy Booking. Yes. But I could absolutely see... AEW trying this fan- a version of this. I can see that there is a way to do this. Oh, it's definitely because you, you have you, you do you just... more of the slide towards the the midsection. Oh, well, uh, you, well you aim for um, Brit, um, and as she takes the hit, she rolls back, pulling um, the person, and she's releasing it. Yeah. Um, along with it, almost into like a roll up, a double pin roll up, uh, right? In that a sen- one. in a sense. Uh, but that, that'd be the safe way to do it. Yeah. I can understand. I can see now. There's maybe a better way. But yes, Rio is the new champion. She's the second, the first ever two-time. Out Congratulations. of out of the total of four champions, three. No, oh, she's the fifth champion, but only four people have now held that belt. Exactly. With her being twice. So hopefully she'll have a better run now that she's only AEW. Yes. She's all elite. She's not going out to Japan anymore. No. So hopefully this one will be a little bit better for her. Exactly. Um, but she has a busy night um, <sighs> with her. But we got, got to cut to the back at him. We had the winner of the World Eliminator Tournament. Yes. Daniel Bryan. He's cutting a promo. Oh, about, what's he got to say? He ha- He's just talking about how... how Whoever wins tonight, he's looking forward to it. He has unfinished business with Kenny Omega. He certainly does. And that, that time limit draw really affected him. And then you have, he says, he would love to work with Hangman uh, for I the mean, belt. Young and up and uh, uh, upcoming kid, yeah, quote unquote, <laughs> with Hangman. Yeah. But at the same time, Hangman, you know, he's good. He's yeah. a solid worker. So he's excited either way, but he has a promise to make. When he has that matchup, whoever the champion is, the belt is co- going home with him. Whoa. Big talk, but Brian can back that up. That's right. He certainly can. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the main, the show closer of the th- trilogy of main events. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's the AEW World Championship matchup. World Championship matchup. Two matchup, matchup. of three falls. Two out of three falls? Kenny Omega, Omega with Don Omega. Callis Don versus Callis, Callis, Callis. Hangman Adam Page, Purge, 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 Purge. with Riho. Yes, Riho, Riho is with who Adam Page. just won in the last match is coming out with Adam Page. Uh, no. She's showing showing her support. Yes, because 
Uh, well, Rios has a background with Kenny. She got to know Paige and became friends with her. She was able uh, to help Paige train yep. and look forward to uh, but the, fading, facing, facing off against Kenny. But not just that, but that whole attitude for Kenny just kind of threw her, her question to her. Like, yeah. she still cares about him, but like... His that's attitude not, lately. That's, she just, that's not the, uh, the Kenny she knew or no. wants to be around, apparently. So she sided with Hangman here, hoping that maybe if she, Hangman picks the belt... This will help bring Kenny back to the Kenny she knows and loves. Not romantically, just no. loves as a, a, friend. Fr- a friend. Older brother. Older brother, yes. And everything. So, Senpai. Uh, <laughs> she's like, please, Senpai, notice me. Go back to how you used to be, Senpai. <laughs> oh, right. And he's like, not me. Okay, so we have the first fall here. Hangman hits a springboard shooting star press. He covers Kenny, expecting him to kick out. But Kenny does it. He takes the pin. He takes the pin? It is 1-0 to Paige. Good and on Paige you, Hangman. Paige up, and Kenny just lies there. He slowly brings his arms up and l- behind his head in a lounge position. It, has he been taking lessons from Orange Cassidy? I guess so. But, I mean, Orange just brought his arms up next to him to sleep. Well, yeah, I mean... This is just... I, why would Kenny just take the pinfall? Is he just relaxing and trying to build some suspense for this? Does he think he has his matchups locked in? I mean, it is two out of three, and sometimes you can sacrifice an early one. I, I guess so. Well, he did one here because it was clear. He's got to win two in a row now. But it was clear by Hangman's face. He thought Kenny was going to kick out here. Yeah. So, all right, let's move on to the second fall. Time for the second fall. After uh, uh, Tim has take, some water. Take some drinks. Some water, you know. A little, uh, hold on. Oh, ah, a little stretch a there. Snappy. A little stretch. Uh, okay, we have the second fall. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the fans really loved that one. <laughs> nice little Thanks, spike guys. There. Hey, it's not as bad as me spiking at the end of um, our predictions. Oh, so that. Now I'm so sorry to anyone who, who actually got to hear that. The spike. I am so loud. It, your mic. Spiked a little. Yo, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the second fall, Kenny hits three, three hard V triggers and covers him. The, th- the third count is coming down and he pulls Paige up. I'm sorry. He Why? He's got the pin secure. I, I don't know. Oh, he's lipping. Some, he's lipping. One winged angel. He sets Paige up, grabs him. His and oh hands God. bring him down, and Paige flips out of it and collapses. Uh, was was Kenny just not able to have it fully secured? I, I don't know, but Kenny's freaking out. He can't. He just hasn't been able to hit that on Paige. He's tried to set it up a couple of times. Yeah. No. No. Oh. Oh. There goes Kenny. He pit nails Paige with seven V triggers right after each other. Oh, he's pinning him. Oh, and there's the pinfall. 1-1, one, one. Kenny ties it up. How he's hit just... Kenny is angry. He's pissed. Um, wow, and those were some hard... Like, you thought you heard some hard V-triggers? Those three before... I don't know no. how Paige is even... The how ref is, needs to call this match yeah, now. How is he not... Loop, he's drunk. He doesn't did, feel anything, probably. He, I don't, maybe, maybe. Well, he they've does been going, they've been going for near almost an hour now, and... It's possible the alcohol. No, he's probably that drunk. It's hangman. I mean, here. It, he's got to be sober by now. He, it's it's got to work through his system. He, he probably drank like three gallons, and it's just like wow. Like okay, you know the bro. Goku, like Goku, yes. like it's just like wow. He just has to drink that much to feel the bu- a buzz these days. <laughs> Paige is. Yeah, he <laughs> might have a bit of a drinking problem. Just a little. It's a tad bit. Maybe. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're moving on to the third and final fall. Kenny goes for a V-trigger, and Paige moves and kicks him. He jumps over the ropes, goes for the buckshot lariat, and Kenny ducks. Hits a snap suplex on Paige. He picks Paige up, and he looks at Rio at ringside and yells, You picked him? And... He goes for the one wing angel. He bring he hit it. One, two, and Kenny can't believe it. Paige kicked out of the one wing 
angel. I'm sorry. He kicked out of it? No one kicks out of the one ring angel. Except for Kota Ibushi. No one <laughs> kicks out of um the one wing angel. And now Adam Page. In AEW. Adam Page. Except for now. <laughs> Kenny, he, he, shot, he just scrambled back. He's like, to he, the corner. Rio gets up on the apron and calls Page. To, uh, the apron. Page gets up. Aubrey Edwards um, tells her to get down. Don slips Kenny the belt. The AEW Women, World Championship. He readies to hit Page as he slowly turns around. Um, to get his feet, because uh, Rio drops down to the floor. Aubrey turns around and sees Kenny holding the belt. Oof. She grabs the belt and takes it to the corner. What is Don? Don Callis is over young at now. Elf. He's arguing with her. Why? I Kenny don't know. I don't know. To cheat here. I, it's obvious. Oh, what? what what's the, the uh, Rio just threw the World Women's Championship to Kenny? Um, I'm sorry. What? Payne saw her do it. He's looking at Rio. Oh. He is absolutely shocked. Wait, he just realized this mistake. Oh, Kenny hit Paige with a belt. Tosses him back. One ring angel for the win. And still, AEW world champion, I'm sorry. Kenny Omega. Rio tossed the belt to Kenny? Yes. What the hell is that? Ke right now, Kenny is celebrating his win over Hangman. Oh, here comes the super elite, the young bucks, the good brothers, Adam Cole, Brandon Cutler come out there. They're Jack and Michael Earl's Nakazawa's out there. Yeah. Uh, no, we actually had to. Um, they had unfortunately due to budget cuts, they had to let him go. Unfortunately. Oh. Uh, and, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. Even though with record um, ticket sales, they had I, to let him go. I, <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> I just couldn't resist. Um, and Michael Nakazawa is not in my notes, but I'm sure. Yeah, he's yes, out there he's too. he's out there too. Uh, oh, Everyone's wait, out wait, there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, they rehired him. Okay. Um, good, good, good. Don Callis was able to renegotiate a new contract cool, for him. Cool, cool, good. Oh, somehow good, good. he's actually making more money now. That's good oh, that, for him. That's good, good for him. Uh, yeah. But Rio is still there. Like, But they're the Super League have their jackets zipped up. They're all wondering at why Rio's there. Uh, Don, Don Callis has something in his hands, um, Adam. Yeah. Oh. What? What's it he, look like? He get what? it looks like a T-shirt. He's giving it to Kenny. Okay. Oh, he's smiling. He's happy. He walks. He's giving it to Rio. Um, uh, she took it. Is it? It's a shirt. And oh, what? Oh, she's putting it on. Okay. Wait. She's turning. Bullet Club. It's a what? Bullet Club shirt. Oh, the rest of. They all have it on. They all unzip their jackets to reveal Bullet Club T-shirts. Yeah. yeah. Kenny has the mic. He says, "We are elite, but we were Bullet Club first. I wish, I wish you adieu, goodbye, and good night. Bang! Full gear goes off the air. Riho is Bullet Club. Yes, ladies. the Bullet Club is in AEW, w. and it's not only for men. <laughs> no, no, everyone, uh, you know, anyone can be part of yes. Bullet Club. So." I just have to say this. This is the one of the few things that I was actually remember I was going to build in my next round of fantasy booking <laughs> was Riho joining the Bull Club. I mean that I, she was in a tag team with Yu Zawazaki, the Magical Girls. Yes, and they were both going to join. Um, I was doing building to an angle because I just thought I was like, what of an interesting idea with Kenny being a heel now? Um, Re, what would Rio do if she came back and she was there in their partnership? Why not put her in with the Bullet Club? Yeah. And now she's the women's champion again, and she's now part of Bullet Club. Bullet Club have like almost nearly all the, belt. all the belts. Outside the TNT Championship <laughs> and the TBS Championship. They have all the belts. <laughs> and they have belts that are even part of the company. <laughs> exactly. So, yes. Yeah, so that's how we are ending off uh, our full gear card. What did you think? Comment down below what do you think of our fantasy booking full gear, AEW full gear 2021. Where do you think we're going to be going with this feud? Because you may have noticed we booked, we drafted a, quite a big na names that in our we draft did. who aren't even here. We haven't even used them yet. yet. So tune in to next week where we'll be doing our 
Well, we're doing our review of Full Gear, actual yes. Full Gear, and our first Dynamite. Exactly. As we build towards Winter is Coming. Uh, so you made it this far. Adam, how long have you been listening to this fantasy booking? Almost 45 minutes. Not too bad for our first show. Exactly. For, especially for a pay-per-view card. Exactly. It took us this long to to uh, make our predictions. And, yeah, I know. Um, so you made it this far. Give this video a thumbs up. You clear liking what we're doing, at least for fantasy booking. Give us that thumbs up. And there's a fly in here. Yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> Have you ever seen that episode of Breaking Bad? Where I've heard of it. There's a fly. It's called the fly, and he yeah. just Walter White cannot focus because of the fly. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually a really good episode. Anyway, you since you gave us a video a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe. It's the only way to know when the next fantasy booking. Or predictions from as the buckle turns go live, and I guess other stuff Sorry. from Zop Gaming. Yeah, yeah. Um, but not, it's no nothing as good as fantasy booking, especially not Nua. Nua sucks, just like Adam's wow. face. Wow. Yeah, face <laughs> transplant. I'm telling you, it'll do wonders for no, you in no, your dating it won't. life. Tim, seriously. Bye.